and Wetter, and then eventually Wintrier. I'm your always just Joe Martucci. We're taking a look at the time that it will be wet or wintry as we go into this week here. You can see no day over the next four will be a washout, but each of them does have some precipitation to talk about. Taking a look at our setup on our Tuesday, the jet stream, the river of air separates a cooler air mass and a warmer air mass will be well to our north. And that means a warmer day on tap for our Tuesday, especially along the shore here. Let's take a look at our forecast radar. This is 7 a.m. on Tuesday. A couple of showers around and that'll continue into the day, but the steadier rain will come after about 4 to 6 p.m. and will last for a couple of hours, mainly north of the Black Forest Pike. You notice the Cape May bubble doing awfully good there on Tuesday night. Rain will continue into the evening and then end overnight, but a few showers could be around for Wednesday morning, say from about 6 to 11 a.m. and then we dry out on the other side of that. Rainfall totals are on the light end here will be around a quarter of an inch in most spots and we also talk about the winds for our tuesday as well you notice the southern half of the state only gusting not the northern half well, that's because we'll have a little bit of a warm front set up just around interstate 195 during the morning but then that warm front expands everywhere and we're going to get gustier as we go into the afternoon i don't think we're going to see any potential for power outages and wind damage but it is going to be awfully gusty out now, eventually, those gusts, which are coming from the south and west, will warm us up even more as we go into Wednesday. High temperatures will be in the 60s away from the coast for our Wednesday. Take a look at these highs. 68 in Toms River, 68 in Vineland. Right along the coast, a little bit cooler, yes, but I still think we'll be in the 50s there. Things come crashing down as we go into Thursday. And I want to show you this graphic because this is going to be awfully important as we go into PM Thursday when we're talking about some mixed precipitation. Freezing rain, sleet, and snow all depend on how thick the warm air is or how thick the air above 32 degrees is here. So the thicker that layer, the better chance of it being freezing rain as opposed to sleet or snow. So let's show you what's going on. This is Thursday at 10 a.m. All is dry across the area. This is Thursday at 1 p.m. Notice snow in the northern half of the state. For us, it's some combination of sleet and rain here depending on where you are. I think once it picks up in intensity, you get a little bit of sleet. See that sleet continuing into Thursday afternoon. And then eventually at some point Thursday night, it flips to all rain for us in South Jersey. Northern half of the state still snowing pretty good or at least mixing over. And then it's all rain as we go into Friday morning. Let's reset and take a look at our numbers. Mid-50s for Tuesday. It's going to be a breezy day, driest along the shore here, away from that warm front. Then as we go into Tuesday with our outdoor planner, dog walking is looking good. Pretty much the short story is if you need to do something for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, you'll find enough dry time. But if you're looking for something to do all day long outside, like maybe a work project, maybe you're a construction worker and you're doing a paving project, well, I don't think Tuesday is going to be the best day for that. You're probably going to have to wait until Wednesday or if not, even until Saturday here. Then as we go into Tuesday, night temperatures in the mid-50s for lows. So that is well above average for this time of the year. That's actually about 30 degrees above average for this time of the year inland. And then we go to Wednesday, it's going to be a warm day. We start off with the base in the mid-50s. You're going to get well above average here for this time of the year. And that we will be Wednesday afternoon after the rain ends. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. We're talking about 30 degrees for our low temperature on Wednesday. And that helps set the stage for some wintry weather as we go into the day on Thursday here. Now, that wintry weather should only be during the afternoon, so you have a dry first half of the day. Rain will continue as we go into Thursday night into Friday morning here as temperatures rise. And then our weekend on the cooler side again here continues our streak of warmer than average weekdays, but our weekends wind up below average. And then we are tracking some kind of coastal storm for Sunday. All looks to be dry for now, but I'll keep you updated as we go forward throughout the week. Give me till about Thursday. We'll have a pretty good idea of what to expect for Sunday. Follow me on social media for the latest. We're talking everything about this warm-up and the rain to come. Also, come to our web website for the latest in videos, articles, podcasts, and more. Preservacy.com slash web.